Hello, my love. I wanted to highlight my favorite gay filmmaking duo, DeAndre and Quincy Gosfield, and discuss two of their films, Congo Cabaret and Smoke, Lilies, and Jade. Let me know in the comment section if you plan to watch either film or if you have previously watched one or both. What are your thoughts? The pair who are husbands directed their first film in 2001 and have over 20 years of experience in both scripted and non-scripted television production. Their production company produces scripted TV shows, talk shows, and competition shows. You might know them from taking part in the wedding ceremony with 33 other couples who tied the knot during the performance of Macklemore's same-sex marriage anthem, Same Love, at the 56th Annual Grammy Awards. Queen Latifah officiated the ceremony with Madonna at her side. DeAndre and Quincy are prominent figures in the film industry, known for their impactful work that resonates within the gay community and the black gay community. Their projects continue to inspire me, and I hope that you will be equally as inspired by their body of work. I first heard about them because they directed the DL Chronicle series, which follows men of color who are unable to share who they are with their loved ones. Damian Rabin, Terrell Tilford, Larry Ulrich, and Karamo of Queer Eye starred in the show. The series first aired on Here TV in 2007. The husbands not only directed the series, but they also wrote the scripts, served as producers, and helped with casting. That is a lot. You can watch the DL Chronicles on Amazon Prime. They produced a follow-up project, The Chadwick Journals. Damian Raven stars in the titular role. Nick Few, who I love, starred in one of the episodes. Also, Jamar Michael of Dear White People, Sky Black of All the Queen's Men, Kareem Ferguson of Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty, and Thomas Hobson of That Girl Lele also starred in the series. I went to the LA screening of the Chatwick Journals at Outfest Film Festival with the intention of getting a boyfriend. Trust me, it was the place to get one. But unfortunately, I didn't walk away with a man, but I left with a greater appreciation and respect for the husband duo. They self-produce many of their projects. In fact, the Chadwick Journals was fan-funded in its early stages. You can watch seasons one through three of the Chadwick Journals on Amazon Prime. Currently, DeAndre is directing the Shy TV series and Quincy serves as a producer on the show. He was also a producer on Legendary and Sunday's Best. Their projects, Congo Cabaret and Smoke Lilies and Jade, each contribute significantly to the cultural and social dialogue surrounding Black and LGBTQ plus experiences. Congo Cabaret stands out as a testament to the creative prowess of the Gosfeld duo. The film weaves a compelling narrative that delves into the complexities of identity, culture, and the intersections of race and sexuality. A beautiful female cabaret singer in a gay-owned speakeasy in Harlem, seeking to reignite an old flame, sets the entire room on fire through the art of seduction. The script is based on the Harlem Renaissance novel, Home to Harlem, by Claude McKay. It is a short film, so I don't want to give away too much. But trust me, you want to watch this film. The short features Kevin Daniels of Modern Family and AJ and the Queen, where I know him from, Nick Few of the Chadwick Journals, and also Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Russell Richardson of Tigerland, and Daryl Stevens of the legendary show Noah's Ark. And I am probably going to butcher this next guy's last name. You know that I struggle with some of my pronunciations. But Julio Marcelino, the incredible designer, uh, designer, the incredible dancer who is the lead in Kim Petras' music video, Heart to Break, appears in the short as well. By exploring the themes of identity, culture, and the intersections of race and sexuality, the Gospels challenge conventional norms and broaden the scope of representation in cinema. The acting is powerful and the cinematography gorgeous. Congo Cabaret won Best Cinematography at the Black Queer Film Festival and Best Short Film at the 2018 Harlem International Film Festival. I first heard about the film at Outfest and could not wait to watch it. The second film I wanted to highlight, Smoke Lilies and Jade, is inspired by a story by Harlem Renaissance writer Richard Bruce Nugent. Richard was among only a few artists of the time who were art, who were out. The film is set in 1926 during the Harlem Renaissance, and it is semi-autobiographical. In Smoke, Lilies, and Jade, we follow Alex, a young Black writer and artist who is dating Melva. Such a beautiful name. 
Alex meets Beauty, a Latin man who makes him question his sexuality and how he identifies. The lighting and cinematography are as poetic as Nugent's words and bring the characters above the page, helping to create beating hearts. Nugent's words were written decades ago, but he created characters who are current and full-bodied. The short further solidifies the Gosfield's commitment to storytelling that transcends boundaries. The film in particular has garnered attention for its nuanced portrayal of same-sex desire, offering a perspective that is both authentic and underrepresented in mainstream media. The film is narrated by Billy Porter and stars Javier Avila as Alex, Alexandra Gray as Melva, and Ernesto Reyes as Beauty. Smoke, Lilies, and Jade won the Queer Black Voices Award at the 2021 Austin Gay and Lesbian International Film Festival, Best Short at the Outshine LGBTQ Film Festival, and the Audience Award for Best Short at the Black Alphabet Film Festival. Beyond their artistic contributions, DeAndre and Quincy have become influential figures in the Black gay community. Their films serve as beacons of visibility, offering a platform for individuals whose stories have often been marginalized or overlooked. By bringing these narratives to the forefront, the Gosfields contribute to the empowerment and validation of the Black gay community, fostering a sense of belonging and pride. The couple have not only left an indelible mark on the film industry, but have become catalysts for positive change within the Black LGBT community to create representation in film. In essence, their commitment to representation and authenticity underscores the transformative power of storytelling and its ability to shape perceptions, foster understanding, and pave the way for a more inclusive and equitable future. You can watch both Congo Cabaret and Smoke Lilies and Jade on Vimeo right now. The lead production company that funded both Smoke Lilies and Jade and Congo Cabaret is Shoga Films, which means homosexual male in Swahili. Robert Philipson, the president of the production company, wrote the scripts for each film as well. Shoga Films is a nonprofit production company that creates films around race and sexuality, specifically on Black queer identity, Black history, and Black and Jewish histories. The production company's latest film, Rockland Palace, reimagines a drag ball hosted at the legendary Harlem venue. The dance hall would attract thousands, up to 7,000, in fact, of attendees to drag balls in the 20s and 30s. That is incredible. These are photographs of the building and of a drag ball, but I do not know the exact date. I wish there was more footage from the balls. Rockland Palace will show at the Tag Queer Shorts Festival held in Portland, which is April 6th through the 7th. The production company has a number of other shorts and documentaries focusing on LGBT histories during the Harlem Renaissance. To learn more about Rockland Palace and their Harlem Renaissance series, visit shogafilms.com. In the comment section, let me know if you plan to watch either film or if you previously watched one or both. What are your thoughts? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicyates for more about my art and literary projects. I'm on TikTok as well. You can follow me there at writervicyates as well. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and become a member if you can and like and share this video. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.